Hello and welcome to Goals Galore. This show is uploaded every Monday with a featured match uploaded every Saturday. FGR made several changes from their 1-1 draw with Acton Stanley. Scott Laird came in for Tavon Campbell and Isaiah Osborne came in for Chris Clement. Osborne received an early yellow card for an overzealous challenge on Matthew Virtue Thick. The resultant free kick was fired well over the bar. Forest Green responded as Reese Brown struck from range but failed to get his shot on target. Forest Green's defence was put under pressure early on with Dale Bennett's mistimed challenge on George Grant. And saw the referee award Knox County a penalty. Just a case of mistiming the tackle. Didn't look comfortable going into it, and it was a definite foul. Even though Bradley Collins didn't move, Jonathan Fort scuppered his penalty and fired wide. Forrest Green came close to an opener as Adam Collins produced a superb save from Christian Deutsch's fierce effort from range. With just over half an hour gone, Forrest Green went down to ten men as Osborne's late challenge was punished with a second yellow card. Sympathy here from the referee for the offender. He knows he's booked him once already. Knox County were quick to put Forest Green under yeah, pressure as Lewis Alexandra saw his shot rebound off the post from his first time effort. With the half coming to a close, Keanu Marsh Brown pulled Forest Green forward and produced a pinpoint cross to the other Brown to notch past Collins to the shock of the home side. In the second half, Deutsch had the possibility to extend Forest Green's lead to only smack the crossbar with his strike in the air. Fort then had the opportunity to correct his missed penalty but fired his shots at the near post. Marsh Brown had the opportunity to confirm all three points after some neat play by Laird and Brown on the left hand side but Marsh Brown blazed his volley over the bar. Bradley Collins was forced to make two late saves and Forest Green held on for all three points. Next up, had Forest Green at home to Newport County. Forest Green got off to the worst possible start as Gavin Gunning failed to properly clear a cross and Frank Newball took full advantage with his first time strike. Moments later, it became the Dan Wishart show after Bradley Collins is superbly punched across away. The ball made its way to Wishart. He took on all of Newport's defence to slot home the equaliser. Wishart then became supplier as his sumptuous cross was met by Marsh Brown to complete the early comeback. Newport failed to regroup and Forest Green continued to press forward and came close with Harry Powell's long range effort. Newport had a half chance to get back into the game but the shot was gathered in by Collins. In the second half, Forest Green were quick to extend their lead after Curtis Guthrie's brilliant improvised flick sent Reese Brown through to strike the ball into the bottom corner. Marsh Brown could have got his fifth goal of the season, but his header hit the bar, then Pell again saw his shot from range clawed away from goal. The winger would get his second of the game and fifth of the season moments later as he in, as his individually went head to head with Newport's defence and would shift the ball onto his stronger foot to smash the ball into the back of the net. Collins then produced arguably the save of the season as Mickey Dimitru's header appeared to be heading straight for the top corner. Newport fans would have one last cheer as Newball opened up Forest Green's defence for Aaron Collins to toe-poke past his namesake. 
Sanchez would have packed it in at this stage. Here we aim to take Rovers all the way to the Premier League in our Road to Glory series. Thanks for watching Goals Galore. Enjoy the featured match of Forest Green Rovers versus Coventry to come this Saturday well, and see you next week. Time. No wonder he's looking pleased. He could do no longer there.